Uh, I sit here as a person who has experienced uh, this country undergo a dramatic uh, change last week uh, because something so terrible occurred here in our country, uh, in, in this land and with us as a people uh, that it is no longer the same uh, country that uh, it was uh, till Friday of last week. Uh, there was one madman, one terrorist uh, who went and targeted a group of worshippers in a mosque in Christchurch and absolutely ran amok and killed 50 of those people. A lot of them are still uh, uh, in hospital and you know uh, our prayers and wishes are with all of them and also with the deceased families and uh, you know uh, it, it's it, you know it's been very very sad you know I live in New Zealand as, as somebody who chose to make this my home uh, and uh, I can't describe the feelings and emotions that have been going around my own head uh, since uh, you know Friday uh, of last week and it's been a very unbelievable as a sensation because we live in a country which is so safe so secure and uh, friendly and welcoming and uh, has got an active migration policy welcoming people from different parts of the world to come and make this their new home and in turn build New Zealand culturally economically and you know make it a much stronger nation than it already is so it's been very terrible and unfortunately the guy who came in here is a migrant like myself he is somebody from australia who chose to come to new zealand and uh, prove some kind of a madman point uh, of saying there is no place uh, safe or not so uh, uh, of course the government uh, uh, is uh, moved into high gear and they're tackling the situation and you know we are kind of you know get trying to get on with our lives but it is not going to be the same uh, again but the fact of the matter is this was not a Kiwi who perpetrated this crime, but this was somebody who came from outside, who deliberately chose to target New Zealand uh, to kind of prove a point that, you know, you guys think this is a safe place. Okay, let me prove otherwise. What can any government or what can any law enforcement agency do with such uh, committed individuals who are these lone wolf terrorists who will go out and uh, create mayhem suddenly overnight? So. It's, it's ridiculous the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, tarnishing of the image uh, that this one single individual has done to New Zealand. And well, I mean, uh, like I said, it is not New Zealand. Uh, this is not the New Zealand we know, nor is, the New, nor is the New Zealand that you aspire to move to. So do not lose faith in New Zealand. Do not lose faith in the people here. Uh, do not lose, lose faith in the processes that have been implemented uh, to attract the best talent from different parts of the world to come and study here or to come and migrate here and become part of the society. Kindly, kindly do not lose faith in this beautiful country. Uh, this is an aberration. This is not something that was perpetrated by uh, Kiwis. Uh, like I said, we are a beautiful, fantastic, friendly country. And so it's just one of those uh, very, very unfortunate uh, events caused by one single individual madman. To all my wonderful viewers and my followers, uh, do not lose faith in New Zealand. This is a complete, complete aberration, not the Kiwi way of life, uh, not the Kiwi way of thinking. And like I said, it was an outsider who came into this beautiful country to prove a, prove a very wrong point. And hopefully uh, the government will now uh, reform and change a lot of things. There's already a lot of discussion about changing the gun laws. I'm sure immigration and customs and uh, the intelligence uh, service and police has already kicked into high action uh, to understand how this can be prevented in future. It is already the largest investigation ever conducted in the history of New Zealand. So I promise you things are going to get better from here after this very, very unfortunate incident. And our heartfelt condolences to all the victims and their families and those injured and still lying in hospital. If some of you anywhere remotely connected to that incident are watching this live broadcast right now, please get in touch with AJB services if you or your family members are trying to get a visa to come into New Zealand uh, to you know uh, catch up with uh, uh, a bereaved family or anybody who is in hospital and we will gladly offer you a free service uh, for your visa uh, requirements that's the least we can do for this uh, uh, you know uh, community that is grieving uh, and this entire country that is grieving we've had uh, probably what our darkest day in the history of New Zealand not lose faith in New Zealand I think it will continues to be one of the best and safest destinations on earth and uh, we actively want to encourage uh, people with the right attitude, skills and knowledge to come here and study in our wonderful institutions and also go on to address our uh, skill shortages and 
to want to become productive residents and citizens. So, uh, once again, uh, deepest condolences to all the victims uh, at the Christchurch mosque shootings. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, we have pretty bad uh, feeling for all of us, but hopefully we'll shake ourselves out of it and move on. But uh, thanks as always for watching my broadcast and uh, please share it uh, with your family and friends. Anybody looking for good, honest information, uh, the place to go to is AJV and we will continue to do this week after week. Uh, at the end of this week, my colleague Mary will also be coming live. So continue to watch us and hey, look, we look forward to working with all of you.